Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. This one. You are able to see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay. So this this guy will give us the option. Let me take my screen. So let's say these are three other different different vendors. Okay. So this is Five Eight. This is our Go Indigo and let's say IRCTC. Now they will be registering or subscribing to this particular ESB. Mm. Now only one connection we need to maintain here. Now these are let's say businesses, our businesses. Okay. Mm. Let's say make my trip and yatra.com. Now we are able to simulate that particular situation what we were discussing, right? Mm. Now they are communicating with, so they need, they need not know that this guy need not know that who all are vendors available any point of time. Whoever is giving me data, that data I take it and I'll publish it to my platform. Now this guy need not know, let's say this is my, this, let's say this is my Yatra. Okay. Okay. Mm. Now, whose responsibility is to take the data? Now, responsibility to take the data to this guy is responsibility to get the data and take the request. So, this guy will be sending a request of give me a data for A to B dis destination mm. or trip. For A to B trip, I want a data. Mm. Now, for A to B, it will place the date request on this particular queue, let's say. Mm. Now this queue will be listened by these three guys. Now they will see A to B services, we need to give a data. Now this vendor also respond, this vendor also will respond, this vendor also will respond their data. Mm. Now this mediator will be having logic to merge this data, transform the data into one format. Mm. Now let's say one more queue is there here. Mm. that will be generating a response data. Okay. okay. Now this business will be listening to that. Mm. Now once the data is available, this guy will automatically triggers. That's the reason he don't need to wait for this request. Once the data is available here, it will automatically triggers this guy. Okay. And this guy will load that data in their platform. Clear? Mm. Oh, yes. Similar way, this business, right? This is our make my trip, MMT. Now when this guy is asking, give me a data from M to N, same request will be placed here in the queue. This queue. Now again, all these guys will be listening it. Okay. Now that data will be generated over here and this guy will trigger this guy because for this queue, these are the producers and these are the consumers. For this queue, these are the producers and these guys are consumers. Okay. So one queue can have consumers and producer. Definitely. Mm. If producer won't produce the data, consumer won't be able to consume the data. Right? Mm. Mm. So that is what happened in the ESP. You can create multiple topics, you can create multiple queues, Topic is something where you publish the data. Mm. One guy will publish the data and mm. whoever is subscribers, mm. those all will get data at a time. At the same time, you will get a data. But in this case, what happens? If anybody is down, topic won't guarantee that this guy will get a data or not. In case of topic. Okay. Mm. But in case of queue, if you are having queue, this guy will take guarantee that each key will give data to a specific subscriber. You mean the request and the response both? Yes, request and response. Mm. Here, for in case of queue, request and response is nothing but a message. Mm. Mm. Okay, clear? Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay, so now look at this. Yeah, all these problems are solved. Okay. Mm. Now connection mm. problems. Now this is called loosely coupling. That was tightly coupling, right? This is loose couple. 
coupling. Now you'll be asking me what is this Ashish? What is this loosely coupling? Right? Loosely coupling means anybody can connect easily, plug in is easy, plug out is easy. So new vendor if I have to add, right? Only one connection I need to create here. Okay. If I want to one more business here, only one connection I need to create. I don't care who all are vendors available. Hmm. Right? And everything is done by connectors. Even I don't need to write a code for that. I just need to give information about, okay, this is my credentials, this is my host, that's it. That is called configuration. So this is configuration driven project or software that is called MuleSoft. All these functionalities available. Other than this, there is a lot of things. We are taking one, one advantage only. Mm. Right? We are discussing only one feature of MuleSoft. Mm. It gives you the lot of. Then, when it, it actually started with this. I told you, right? Messaging service, it started initially. Mm. Now, they give a complete iPod solution for API management. Where we do API instances, we will apply the security, we will see monitoring. All those blah 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 everything. Mm. But only one type of feature of MuleSoft we are discussing here. Okay. And that is uh, messaging. messaging. Yes. So this loosely coupling is like you can add new Yeah, Kukla, tell me. So so you can add or remove uh, the vendors that is what you mean by loosely coupling or uh... yeah 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 I mean systems anytime they don't say you know vendors or businesses systems can any any time we can add easily we can add remove easily okay systems if, okay. yeah if i make any change over here if i make upgrade over here it hmm. won't get impacted this guy 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 won't get impacted if where do you make the changes you make it only in the esb whatever you make you make it only in the ESB so nobody else is disturbed yes okay my business is not going down maintenance code maintenance is not the problem here at one location I'm writing it and then other people are you know consuming mm. clear mm, okay yeah thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.